Well, this story is bonkers. A prominent financial columnist issuing a terrifying warning after she was scammed out of 50 grand by a fraudster who was claiming to be a government agent. Scammer claiming, quote, her home was being watched and she was in imminent danger. These scams are likely more prevalent than people know. The FTC says younger adults are 34 times more likely to report fraud than older adults. Well, Kurt, the cyber guy, joins us now with what you need to know. And, Kurt, the details here are sort of amazing. She ended up with all this money in a bag, handing it to a stranger, $50,000 gone. Were there a few red flags along the way that maybe could have tipped her off that this was not on the up and up? Yes, but, Guy, and good morning to you. But at the same time, there are these sophisticated scams are designed to literally take you down the rabbit hole where the smartest person you know would fall for something like this. And it happens all the time. These types of scams up 30% since 2022. So how to make yourself stronger is number one, when you get a call from somebody and it is urgent and they're asking for anything related to financial anything, I don't care if it's $3, verify that unexpected contact so that you know it's legit. Number two, remove your personal information from the internet. There are data removal services that are out there. You know, they're expensive, some of them, but some reasonable that systematically go through and literally extract your data from the internet so that scammers can't really find this kind of stuff very easily. With your social media, make those posts private, if not just for your friends and family. Number three, Know if your identity is being stolen by using identity protection services. Subscribe to those services. They monitor your personal financial information, alert you anytime someone's unauthorized or suspiciously going after your identity to try to get something. I had somebody try to buy a car. I got notified. Number four, make yourself resilient online with mal from malware and attacks. Strong antivirus protection for everything in your world digitally is the way to go it will likely stop a lot of these scams because they try to get malware on your system first, pull information about you, get control of your devices, and by then, it is, it's, you know, kiss it goodbye. Step-by-step -step tips online at my website will show you how to do all of this stuff, Guy. So, Kurt, on that number one point, verifying that the contacts are legit, that seems like job number one. How does someone do that? How can you tell if it's real or a scammer on the phone? So they're going to try to trick you. They'll, they'll text you and say, here's my identification. I'm legitimate. Never go with anything sent your way. Instead, stop everything. Go to the source. If it's, for example, this started with an Amazon call. Well, go to the Amazon website on your own by typing it in, not by linking from something. Mm. Check your orders. See if there's something going on. Click down at the bottom for help. Do your own investigation. Well, if it smells fishy, maybe dig a little deeper. There were red flags all over this particular case that went ignored and $50,000 gone. Kurt, thanks so much. Sign up for Kurt's free CyberGuy okay. newsletter that he mentioned. That's CyberGuy.com.